This subtle terror is part of her iconography. Lieutenant Yefreiter, you've stood there for over five minutes. <laughs> the lieutenant's calm voice echoes in the cold air of the church. Uh, yeah. That would be because encyclopedia is not drama or conceptualization yeah. or inland empire. It's encyclopedia. We're learning. That's real. What are you thinking of, if I may ask? She's somehow connected to the case. Glowing lungs. That's fucked up. Nothing. Just looking around. She's beautiful. She's not human. War criminal. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Your god is a war criminal. Your innocence is garbage, Kim. Uh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Okay. He takes his glasses off to clean them. Then, after a while, he says, This church, the coast in general, we shouldn't linger here. This isn't a good place to get lost in. We should conclude our business and move on. Hmm. All right. You got a VC check. Yes, we all are. Her name, body, and rule. It's not spiritual. It's constitutional. See, that's why I made that comparison, because quite, like, quite literally, the, uh... The, the Sanctus Maximus shit is this first thing they specify is that you don't need faith to follow this. Just come along. Just if you if you want to know about magic, we're the people, and we'll be over here. Um, are you not holding anything in your left hand? I am not. Visual calculus. Yeah. I kind of want to know if he has any other responses to what you say in that scene. Mm. If you had gone, she's a war criminal. I'm super curious. But I don't think you're going to get it without digging through quite a bit of uh, backtrack there. Mm. Um, okay. Minus... Man, we look good. Yeah, really tight. I can't believe he's turned it around. I'm, <laughs> you know, and all it took was uh, fucking up a couple of children and a magical racist. Um. Yeah, it's interesting. There's a lot of parallels and, and, and comparisons and direct things you can make based on the description of what they say an innocence is and what she is particularly in that role. But uh, there's none more apt and um, ap apropos, I should say, than understanding that um, effectively she's a pope uh, elected into that position and that there's only been six, which is very interesting. That's a plus one as well. Um, the word infallible is the one that stands out to me the most because that yeah. was the one that we fixated on when we were learning about the nature of the Pope uh, when I was in like back in Bible school and such was learning about how uh, the infallibility was the crux of what made uh, every discussion like troubled you like, know why the nature of a human being being infallible walking this earth um so that's what stands out to me in the way that they, they, they describe it not to mention that there's always an in, like no matter how and this is an interesting thing too throughout time no matter how apolitical uh someone in that position would try to be at least in our world 
being apolitical as a pope is extremely political. When World War II is happening and you're not, you're not and sides. you're not taking sides, you are. You know, it was it's it's an interesting thing. So the fact that, of course, you don't just go into her mythology um, and her literal deeds without also touching on the fact that the, there were campaigns waged at the same time is again very very parallel. You know, and, and almost sure. as if they're saying that politics does not have a, a place in the realm of God or something. But I well, it's no, it's no, it's more so, more so that it's going to happen no matter what. Right, there's going to be background cases of, you know, we're talking about the 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 traits of about everything that's mystical about her, but on the offhand, we're going to talk about the campaigns that uh, her army waged, and the the displacement of peoples and yeah. the things that happened, and you know, not too much detail, but it did happen, um, and if they did establish the moral intern, I would like to know more about that, and I find that pretty interesting because it's like. It ends up being the, the powers that be literally currently and the ones that are probably uh, the scariest to be where they are. But like we don't have enough of the context of like what happened the moment she died mm. and then how it led to where we are today. The mother of humanism stands above you, a precious and complex wax painting on a single pane of glass. A crack runs across the length of her body. Her face oval and sad. I mean, one thing's for sure. This would make a pretty sick dance club. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Lots of hairy people. Oh. The jigsaw of broken shards falls into place in front of you. A ghostly reconstruction of the stained glass window. Before it was shattered, there was an older woman beneath the younger one. And a text. A light motif below them both. A light motif? Who shattered this mosaic? That's one of them new words that I like. Rather, a word that I learned in the last couple of years. Mm. I appreciate the zoom in. A motor carriage, a gunshot, someone falling into it, or maybe just hooligans looking for something to break. I really do hope they have this art as a texture extracted somewhere. Yeah. Who's this older woman? The escutcheon on her throne says, Irene the Navigator. She is depicted as an older woman wearing thick rimmed eyeglasses. Oh. Holding a golden rights apfel in one hand and a scepter in the other. This is the queen her innocence day advised. Above, she herself is whole. So the person sh that uh, found the new new world crossing the pale was the queen or became the queen. Yeah, okay. Small figures of wise men, common men, worshippers walk up the stairs to stand at her feet. Secret servicemen, thirty years, stand in a row guarding her. It must have taken years to produce this work in all its dizzying detail. The motto, what does it say? That's the thing that's interesting too about like, uh, eight about old architecture is like shit that should not be accomplishable by a group of people within their lifetime can be accomplished by a multitude that are devoted to a cause greater than themselves. Yeah. That it's a, to a divine cause, an ultimate cause. Something that you are happily a part of. You know? Like, you can push, you can get unbelievable marvels of architecture when it's an ideology and not just, like, a shopping mall. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the, the most, and the most, like, wondrous things that we have in, in, to offer in that regard are all with that motivator. Yeah. In a humanity. Pyramids, and call that the, you know, the Aztec incoming. And Sistine Chapel. Yeah. All that. The motto, what does it say? 
below both women in luminous black letters. Après la vie, mort. Après la mort, la vie de nouveau. Hmm. After life, death. After death, new life. And then along the left side, après le monde, la gris. Après le gris, le monde de nouveau. Oh, after the world, the gray. After the gray, the new world. After life, death. After death, life again. After the world, oh, the pale. Le after the pale, the world again. This is the great light motif of humanism, a summary of the effect of the discovery of this Isola, the Insulindian, on human thinking. A tremendous sea change akin to finding life after death. And the theme of entropy, of course. Uh, huh. So everything is separating. Everything is floating apart. Only to be remade after the process completes itself. If you can reach. Yeah. So there is an end, but the end, in theory, would lead to a beginning again. Or so they would believe. Um, someone who studies uh, prions wrote in to describe that uh, the prions that were infecting people uh, and the disease that was wasting away um, a lot of the, the, you know, in the past when we heard about it like ages ago in the game uh, is even that on a level is thematically appropriate because effectively it's something that uh, that causes the effect of it basically breaks down proteins in a way that resembles entropy right and that like it, it repeats the same theme so it's almost like the world breaking apart with the isolas it's doing the prion disease did that to the brains of the people who were infected by it and there is no known cure oh shit yeah so like even on that level it's still repeating yeah perpetuating the idea. exactly yeah. it's the same idea it's a, it's like poetry it rhymes <laughs> um and it and 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 the the use of the word light motif actually being like it's when you hear a theme that comes back in multiple instances in 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 different forms throughout you know the course of a movie throughout a series throughout a work or whatever yeah. it's like when you, it's like a, a an iconic tune chorus refrain or jingle that you hear in different contexts you know so that's 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 exactly what it is Tenant, this used to say after life, death, after death, life again, after the world, the pale, after the pale, the world again. Now, Kim has always been really resistant to getting into the idea of the pale with you. Yeah, and I it's, thought we couldn't handle it, right? Right, but like, do you think it's possible that there's more to that? Like, maybe his belief is another part of why he wouldn't want to get into it. This exaltation is common in Dolorian sacralism. In the early years, it was even incorporated as the RCM slogan. No more, however. Why? It was deemed subservient to use a strongly moral intern related motto. We already suspected of bootlicking. The sentence was also seen as too feminine. It was a macho thing. And what is the RCM motto now? Protect and serve. <laughs> As opposed to, I don't know, go catch them slaves. <laughs> that works. It's catchy too. It fits on the side of a car. It's just <laughs> Justice, union, prudence, and force. Cool. Where the hood at? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we want to find them and return them to their proper right. places. Right, 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 right. We have to locate. Have you seen? Have you seen the hood? Have uh, has anyone? Have have any of you? Is Not that way. <laughs> am I free to go? <laughs> Not discussing justice, union, prudence, and force. Cool. Not very feminine. I like the other one better. I like this. What's the fear of God back in the friends? Jesus fucking Christ. 
Okay. Well, my heart sank. Okay. So, you know, I hear that that in this game, you can push Kim to literally just walk away from you. And that's one of those times where this is, you click it, and I... That's a double whammy. I'll catch you later. Mm. Like, I'd be like, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Holy fucking shit. So, one, quirks. two, or three. Yeah, quirks. 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 <laughs> I like the other one better. So do I. All right. The mother of humanism towers above you. A wax painting on a cracked pane of glass. Nothing has changed in her expression. What an interesting intermission from the hijinks that is the rest of this game to something that is like, oh, the authority that rules this world is the opposite of hijinks. And it demands your reverence. Mm. And we're going to take a moment to explain that to you. You want to still jump around like a fucking animaniac? Chill. Mesco Bangers Red Brogues Plus one empathy In someone else's shoes These dapper snakeskin shoes Have an almost invisible white on white Flower motive song Sewn on the tongue The toe caps are still dusty from lying in the church I mean They're not armored But you do feel the empathy Of walking around in someone else's shoes Oh, yeah, it's true. We changed uh, our jacket. Hey, her innocence, Dolores Day, liked little figurines, right? Liked holding little men between her fingers, remember? Really? What? You have the headless foul rider figurine. You should give it to her. Win her back. What? Win who back? I can't win her back. She's a long dead historical figure. I should, yes. This is a task of mine now. Don't be so pessimistic. Love doesn't die that easily. Ah, reaction speed? I don't remember the last time you went all nuts on me, too. This isn't funny. You have a bad feeling about this one. I should, yes. This is a task of mine now. So very, very, very nifty. Nifty and mysterious. This is surely what the figurines are for. You've been reliable to reaction speed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised to see you fall apart like endurance. <laughs> <laughs> Offer figurines to Dolores Day. Um, I think it was a task. Yeah, not a thought. That's true. It did specify. Mm -hmm. Dolores Day was fond of figurines. She deserves more. You should offer her any and all you have one day. If you meet her in person. Why well, not task to give yourself? But here we are. That is an odd task. So many points to observe. The bowl is filled with water. A lot of wire runs directly into it. Well, that's not good. Is that how you catch a creepy crab crawling man? What is, it, is it like six? A prayer book has been left open. Is it six place on the floor, I see? There's, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. <laughs> Absorbs from the Paracanassian litany of love. Where is that? The silence in this part of the church, it's almost palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Wait, I, I think I still hear something. And then it's gone. Almost all of it. But for the faintest of hums, you can hardly hear your own breathing. 
Yell as loud as you can. Stomp your feet and clap your hands. You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total, somehow. Now, are you in, like, an electromagnetic isolation chamber? Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. Turn to Kim. What's happening? The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. Can you hear anything? Almost nothing, and it's beginning to worry me. Not really, but it's extraordinary. I've never experienced anything like this. Can't hear shit. Can't hear shit, Doc. <laughs> I wonder why the church was built with such strange acoustics. Maybe the church was designed this way to prevent boisterous activity, singing and dancing on its premises. Hmm, maybe they wanted to discourage singing and dancing? What if it's something paranatural? It's probably nothing, just our imagination. Whatever it is, it's definitely real. Something odd is happening around us. Good observation there, Harry. Please, detective. Not this again. He's trying to act dismissive, but at this particular moment, he's more open than usual to the idea of paranatural phenomena. The lieutenant points to... Can you hear anything? I wonder why the... Church. Maybe the church was designed this way to prevent boisterous activity. Singing. Hmm. Could be. He doesn't seem entirely convinced, though. Hmm. Look up at the bell tower. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible, then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. Try to see beyond the shadows. 83% red check. Cannot be retried. We have eyes on the inside, baby. Perception at 7. Whoa. It's like there's something moving up there. A shadow has emerged from the tower and it's making its way toward you through all the other shadows. On the ceiling. Yes. The darkness makes the ceiling feel infinitely far away. Follow the shadow's movements. It's not a shadow anymore. Becoming more substantial as it gets closer. The shape of an animal descends. Officer, is there something up there? The lieutenant follows your gaze, attempting to see whatever it is that you are seeing. Oh no. You've lost sight of it. Where did it go? Blink. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. Maybe it's possible to talk to it. Tiago? shadow is a man a man made of the same stuff as the carpentry of the building he is studying you intently the crab man hey who's there this is the place show yourself say nothing be quiet for now are you the crab man the man leaned forward a little fixing you with a steady unreadable gaze then speaks. Habitual alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's gonna be alright. You come to the right place. I was not expecting to be called Holmes. <laughs> that was surprising. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been disarmed. That accent is Villa Lobos. A peninsula in Mesk and a district in general. There's a sizable contingent of Villa Lobos speaking mesks in Rivershaw. The right place for what? Here you can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, 
She will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of that box. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? Considering he appears to be bitten by a radioactive spider, I would say yes, mm -hmm. Kim. I'm put off by this religious stuff, he thinks. And maybe the ceiling climbing, too. It's all very hard to square with the lieutenant's own view of reality. Hey, and what was that about the bottle again? You haven't even drank that much lately. Lay off it already. Shish. The game knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I have a bit of a problem and it's been getting out of hand lately, but... I'm a policeman. I need to talk to you about police things. I don't know anything about alcohol use. Oh, hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Run away! Smokey! <laughs> Is that cruel away? I see deep inside you. Your body and your spirit are suffering greatly from overindulgement. And you don't even know it. Overindulgement in the in the chemicals and poisons that you don't approve of, mm. I suppose. Great. We, More patronizing. Let's, so original. Let's fix it by taking these other ones and ingesting those. <laughs> oh, I'm very in touch with my suffering. How do you know what I'm feeling? I actually, I'm actually here on behalf of some young people looking to establish a nightclub. <laughs> oh, we, we, we know. Have you seen this thought cabinet? It's a fucking mess. Not all of it. I was like you once. You don't know all the havoc El Vino is wrecking on your mind and your spirit. Necesita parar, el homie. Hmm. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. Worsen? Sorry, am I going crazy or did Kim not refer to him as possibly being drugged up uh yeah he's he did say that he said like he might have been using other narcotics okay i i am i did not hallucinate that line correct no okay I'm sure if you look up you can find it again. yes no. all right okay cool so the the one thing we might know about him would be that as opposed to nothing if the lieutenant agrees then maybe just maybe you should pay attention for some reason i feel like you have a point there Who do you think you are? Some crazy guy under the roof? What is this shit? You know, alcohol is central to my identity. I wouldn't drink. Uh, uh, if I wouldn't drink, I just wouldn't be me. This is stupid. I don't even know what this is. That's all well and good, but we need to talk about the unlicensed occupation of ecclesiastic property. This is a classic test, and the only yes and is one. Don't trust me. Trust the mother. I'm only the messenger, Holmes. His voice echoes in the cold air of the church. This is the church of the Mother of Silence. You are welcome here. He sways gently on the beams, waiting for you to take it all in. You have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Is he just trying to throw you off your game? Yes, and... Whatever it is, he's quite confident about it. Just look how gracefully he sways. I do appreciate rhetoric's, like, gravity pull, though. <laughs> Tis not an act, my liege. Saving perchance, he hath deceived his very self. This man is a zealot. You must be the crab man. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. Do you know where the other spooker is? Point of the strange machines around you. Okay, thank you. Never known myself to be a crab. But if that's the name you got for me, I won't stop you from using it. To be fair, it's really more like a spider. Right? That's what I said. <laughs> if you're a crab, if you're not a crab, then what are you? Sorry, you just weren't moving like a human. Hey, it's your neighbors who came up with the name, not me. I always thought of myself more like a flame flickering along the rafters and beams. It may be that I gotta work on my technique. Where were you before you became a crabman? I was in a gang way, but my memories of that time are fading. Most of them are already gone. So many people losing their memory, a certain portent of doom. I lost my memory too, and it haunts me. 
I lost my memory too, but I like it. It's like I get to create a whole new me. Start again from from scratch. Hey, video game. So you used to be in a gang, but you really don't remember it? Sounds convenient. Oh, this line of questioning is probably going bad places. All we need to see is a, a like, homes between stars. <laughs> <laughs> to know that shit's about to go yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you used to be in a gang, homes. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you trying to mess with, Jose? Oh, <laughs> Don't you know I'm loco? loco? <laughs> <sighs> That's not really the point, I say. You gotta give yourself over to service. Service of the mother, that is. Do you remember your name, sir? The lieutenant is not particularly interested in this information. He's just trying to assert some control over the conversation. Tiago's my name. But those syllables don't mean much to me these days. A name isn't just your identity, but also, so to speak, your place amongst your fellows. Your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. My name's Harry. Extend your hand for a greeting. My name's Harry Dubois. My place in the world is Lieutenant W. Freighter. I don't do names either. Names are out. I don't care what mine is. Let's see if we can get them down here. That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters he ignores your hand his limbs a mere shadow below the ceiling what are you doing here this is a special place there's a perforation in the world up there a way out into nothingness this church was built around it for purposes of veneration i see i circled it nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'd be pure enough to go drink from it directly. This mother of silence, you mean her? Point to the window. What will happen once you drink of this perforation? I still don't understand what you're doing in the church. Are these your shoes lying around here? Mm. Okay, sounds almost as if a little bit of pale is nearby. No, no, no. There's a new god in town. And she can be painted or sculpted. Because she has no limb or even a face. She is the end. She is a cavity in the dark beyond sense. She saved me. But I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes. And no one ever will. Sir, I would like to direct your attention to my 19 acopolips points. Mm -hmm. And I would hope that you can detect that I, too, am a man of the end. What'll happen when you drink from this perforation? I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally, I won with the state of the world before reality began. That sounds a bit like substitution behavior, no? You know a thing or two about that. You sure you didn't just switch one drug for another? It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. Too gleeful those words. He is lying. Not to you. To his very own self. Faith is kind of a drug. I guess you have a point. Let's agree to disagree. I was being insensitive. Sorry, let's move on. Kim, no disrespect. Faith is kind of a drug. I heard that before, Wei. And I know I can't convince you on the spot. But think, when's the last time you woke up from silent communion with a hangover, regretting what you did last night? I think love might have been my drug of choice, and I think I'm still hungover from it. I guess you have a point. Let's agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. I was being insensitive. Sorry, let's move on. Hey, man. Whatever you want to commit yourself to. I think love might have been my drug of choice, and I think I'm still hungover from it. She took you for a good spin, huh? Don't worry, bro. 
that love is but a drop compared to the ocean of the mother's love. The mother will eat all of you and never spit you out. Oh. Okay, we got maternal vor. <laughs> that's cool. Down with the unbirth. Yeah, okay, mm-hmm. let's go. Mm-hmm. Guess you have a point. Let's agree to disagree. <laughs> I was being insensitive. Sorry, let's move on. How will you proceed? Let's agree to disagree, I suppose. I know it will take time. Don't sweat it. Mm -hmm. I know it will take time. Don't sweat it. Interesting. Double reading on that. Yeah. I still don't understand what you're doing in the church. I'm a seraph, Holmes. I sing the mother's glory. Uh, You should sing for me, the superstar cop. You know, actually, the seraphim were not the ones assigned to the singing of the glory. That was a different tier of angel, I believe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do they have beautiful voices? They do. And they have wings uh, covering the other parts, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, Yeah, I believe you want to... You should sing for me. The superstar cop. Doesn't really make sense for you to sing if she's the mother of silence. Singing is good. We should all sing a bit more. (laughs) I don't mean literal singing, Holmes. This is the mother of silence we're talking about. It's the singing of a burning heart. You may be thinking, but fire crackles. No, Holmes. That's the material that's burning. The flames themselves are without sound. How did you even find this place, this church? I mean, look, man. Whatever this dude is on, it's that good shit. <laughs> yeah, he's coasting. And he's speaking from the rafters. He's vibing. He's in there. How'd you find this place? Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here. Back when I still had material worries. Up there... I realized what the true purpose of the church was. I mean, if Egghead's looking for hardcore, I don't think it gets much more hardcore than this. It's pretty fucking hardcore. Been spending a lot of time here ever since. The past is nothing to me in no way. It didn't belong to me. Yeah, we could just introduce them to him right right now. Look at this shit. Ain't that hardcore? Are these your shoes? I think they were. A long time ago, I had to shed them like skins to get closer to the center of the silence. You could have them. I don't need them anymore. He's never touching ground again. These shoes look pretty dapper, actually. Right. I had other questions. How do you sleep and not roll over and just splat? The sinewy figure lingers on the wooden beams. Blending into the shadows. Oh, you've been here for a long time. Do you know why the church was abandoned? Police raid a while back. The god dang police. Did you witness it? Not really. Or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has done its job. That's what's so great about the mother. It lets you forget about everything. Well, you won't forget about the sick beats coming from Datsik Excision when they show up and drop the fucking drum and bass. <laughs> I've been trying to dodge this for the longest while, but uh, some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. <laughs> the ones in the tent outside? Right? I see them. Guessing they're the ones who call me a crab. <laughs> Probably scared of me. No shit. (laughs) Wait, do they have reason to be scared? So what do you think about the nightclub, that is? Trust you won't get in the way of some enterprising youth. Their business is looking promising, cha-ching. Turning a church into a nightclub? I have to say it's a great idea. You should support it. Nah, man. They look pretty funny. And I don't harm no one anymore. Anyway. That's good. Not anymore. So I trust you won't get in the way of a little cha-ching? Wouldn't bother me none to have them spin music in here. I'm usually way up there. 
imbibing. Imbibing. Might even be nice to have some company. Wow, he doesn't care. He's down. The ones in the tent outside, why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there, imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. The silence. Might even be nice to have some company. Hmm, okay. Do you know where the other spooker is? Other spooker? Oh, esa viejita es muy estudiosa. <laughs> Don't know, Holmes. Viejita is grandma. Wait, so there is another person living in the church and it's a viejita? No. I just call her viejita because of her clothes. She's actually quite young. Oh. Or maybe not that young. Age is just one of the many masks we wear. The girl who's dressed like an old woman? Yeah. That we were told about? Wait, what if it's Ruby? Did it ever seem to you like she was hiding here from something? The lieutenant seems to be thinking the same. He takes out his little notebook. You mean like a fugitive? He glances at the abandoned radio computer on the other side of the nave, pulsing with light. Then he shakes his head. Which conversation did that come from? The the, the old the lady dressed in old clothes? Yeah, was it was was Joyce. it was it Isa, Isa, was it Isabel? I think it was Cindy. Cindy. I think, yeah, okay. No, man. Quite the opposite. I don't think she cared much about authority or anything else for that matter. Maybe I see. And where is she now? I told you, Holmes. I don't know. How can you not know that when you both live here? Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and then. We got different interests. So you've got nothing else to tell me? How she looks, what she does, who she, who is she? I'm afraid not, Esse. You just have to wait until she comes back or... He shrugs. Or search through her radio computer. Okay. Thanks, dude. So it was Joyce Sandy talking about Cindy being uh, dressed a up pain in the ass me. when she was um, parked her boat on the other side. Mm. That's what my first take on her line was, but then, then the the follow up questioning was ask Ruby. her about who this is, and I was yeah. like, oh, but isn't she obviously just talking about Cindy being a pain in her ass? You know? Wasteland of reality. Minus Some, two yeah. physical instruments. 20 hours. Holy shit. That's a lot of time. Damn. We're going into Saturday at this point. Has been brought to your attention that you're an alcoholic and that it's a sickness and it's killing you. You're crawling on your knees through life, your booze filled belly dragging on the ground, your brain now fuzzy, now in overdrive, your hair sticking together with today's cold sweat and yesterday's vomit. Perhaps they're right. Anything is better than this. Even bone dry reality itself. Maybe you can quit. Oh shit. That's it. That's the one. That's that's sobriety. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is gonna take some time and and that makes sense. Mm. Let's make room for sobriety. Um I mean, I've been doing it. Manually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then what to take out, though? Uh, I was thinking of... What was I looking at? What does Motorway South give you at the bottom? Plus one in Inland Empire. Yeah, this one. This is the one I was looking at removing. Yeah. 
because it's uh, just plus one. Then. We're losing one inland, but like it, the the checks were unlocked. Yeah, so. that's a one off. So. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Wasteland of reality. Yep, we had points to spare. Shivers nine, volition eight, perception and visual calculus at seven. On the bottom, we got half light. No, physical instrument at one. What's going on here? Half light electrochem at two. Physical instrument plus one. We have a buff. Minus two thoughts. from thoughts. Well, these thoughts are working our body right now. Mm -hmm. Wasteland of reality is currently debuffing us. Yeah. Okay. It'll eventually come back. Or not. But. Shall we compensate for now? Mm. Or wait. I guess we could wait, right? Where are you? I don't want you at one. So you know, level it up. Yeah, let's yeah. not let's let's not roll with it at one. <laughs> but it'll come back decently. Okay. Yeah, offer figurines. Don't forget. Oh, look at this weirdo. Wow. I mean, all things considered, it's pretty pretty baller piece of real estate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, so the kids were like this close to getting it. It was just the crab men that were like, oh, man. yeah, they creeped in. The crab man's not even that like <laughs> the crab man's like, yeah, sure. Okay. Do your thing. You know, it wasn't even that against just, it. Yeah. Um, so apparently the moral, the moralists vision quest gives you more insight into Dolores Day and the and the the founding oh. of the moral intern and all of that. Uh so that's a that's a nice like trade off for going that route. Okay. Because like the history there is probably so far the most interesting thing about being moralists mm. that has been presented to me in the game so far. 